Hi guys and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download a file from a URL. So let's create a new Java project and I'll call this project Downloader. Okay, now let's create a new package and let's call this package URL. And inside of this package I'll create a new class and I'll call it Download. Okay, so in order to download a file from a URL, you need a URL link and you need a output file so you could fi save that file to a file system. So string link and file out. Okay, now first let's import a few things. Now we need buffered input stream, buffered output stream, file, file output stream, IO exception, HTTP URL connection, and the URL. Okay, now we need a constructor, so public download, and we need a link and a file. And we'll say this link is a link, and this file is file actually it's out. Sorry about the typo. Now we want this class to implement a runnable method so we could run it. So implement runnable. Okay and now we need to add unimplemented methods that is the run method and inside of this method Let's create a try catch block. So try catch, and we need an IO exception, and we want to print stack trace in order when we catch the IO exception. Now let's create URL object. So URL URL is a new URL and the link to a URL file. Okay. Now we need HTTP uh, URL connection and HTTP and this is we need to cast HTTP URL connection to a uh, URL dot open connection. Okay. Now we need to get the file size of that file so we could see the progress while downloading. So we'll have double file size is when we need to cast double to a HTTP dot get content length and the content length returns the number of bytes uh, of the file and uses a long as a data type. So we need to cast it to a double and then uh, return that value to a variable file size. Okay, so now we need a buffered input stream and let's call it in it is a new buffered input stream and the input stream we will need to get the input stream from a http connection so http dot get input stream nice now we need a file output stream in order to save a file to our pc so file output stream fos it is a new file output stream and we need to pass uh, a file to the as a parameter of this file output stream so we'll use this dot out okay now we need the buffered output stream and let's call it be out and it is a new buffered output stream and we will uh, pass a file output stream as a first parameter and the second parameter 
will be the length of that buffered output stream so we'll use 1024 bytes that is one kilobyte okay now let's create the buffer so byte and byte array let's call it data or you can say buffer is a new byte array of 1024 bytes or one kilobyte now we need uh, to see how much we have downloaded so far so double downloaded is uh, 0, 0.00 okay and we need a variable to know how uh, how many bytes have we read in one iteration so integer read is zero okay and we need a percent of the downloaded file so double percent downloaded is uh, 0, 0.00 now we need to read a file from a URL in a while loop and write it to our file so this file okay now while and we will read uh, data from the input stream or buffer the input stream if you want so read is input stream read and we'll read uh, read these uh, bytes to our the uh, to our buffer and the offset will be zero and the number of uh, bytes read will be 1024 bytes or one kilobyte and if we reach the um, end of this stream we will uh, return we'll read actually a zero byte so until this is uh, less than zero we will uh, be in our while loop so if this uh, red is greater or equal to a zero so if it returns minus one that means that we reached the end of our buffered input stream so now we need to write this uh, data to our uh, file output stream so we could uh, write these bytes to our file so b out write and we'll write uh, our buffer with the offset of zero and the length of bytes read is held in a red variable okay and now we need to increment the number of bytes downloaded so downloaded it will increment so plus equal red okay and now we need to have our percent downloaded it is equal to downloaded uh, times 100 divided by the file size okay and if you want to represent that in a string we'll say string percent is string dot format and let's use I don't know maybe four decimal places so four and the string that we want to, and the variable that we want format to a string is a percent downloaded and at the end we'll write these percents in the console so system out dot print line and let's print downloaded and let's say percent and of a file ok 
okay and after this while loop we need to close our byte array uh, buffer the output stream so b out dot close and uh, we need to close our input stream so input close and at the end let's uh, write something like we can copy just this and let's uh, write something like download complete okay so that's about it now let's create a main class so new class and we'll call it main and it will have a public static void main method in order to run this program let's create a link to a URL so string link is and I have opened uh, this uh, PDF file from a URL so this is a URL to a PDF file we can copy this and let's say this is the link now we need to save that file from a URL to our computer so file out is new file and the file we want to say will be let's say maybe here on our desktop so the path to desktop is C users my name desktop and let's call this java the complete reference.pdf okay and let's make a new thread so new thread and we'll pass the download class as a parameter so new download and we'll pass the link and the output file as a parameters to our download class and let's start uh, this uh, thread so we can run this uh, program so right click on the main class go to run as and click on java application and we can see the percent of downloaded file here on console it's updating all the time and we can see the download is complete so now we have this file on our PC we can open it and as you can see it is a downloaded file from this URL so now we have that file so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial